This is Talking Voiceovers, where professionals of the South African voiceover industry chat to me, Gail Goslin, to inspire newcomers along their journey to success. Today, we welcome Boo Prince, voice coach and media entrepreneur. My very first commercial was for Coca-Cola. Things took off very quickly for me. I was extremely fortunate. All those years of hiding in the change rooms and reading out loud instead of actually being on the sports field somehow paid off for me. I was very lucky. (laughs) And being a DJ does not make you a voiceover artist. And equally, being a voiceover artist doesn't make you good on radio either. I'm very anti the pay-to-play sites. Because I do not feel that they work in artists' interests whatsoever. You need to really take into consideration what your time costs, you know, because this is one of the mistakes that I see so many artists making is that they chase jobs which are worth like $100, but they'll spend two hours auditioning for a $100 job. It's such a waste of your time. You would do better spending that time doing something which is actually marketing for your business. I work very much on on building relationships. You then know that they actually want to hear from you. Your best client is a repeat customer. If you behave professionally and you give your clients a really good and quality experience, they typically come back. No, I would never, ever, ever work cheap. The only person you're screwing at the end of the day is yourself. Because in the long term, if you're working for a hundred bucks, you become known as a hundred buck voiceover. Because if you do something cheaply, people think that's all you're worth. I could pick up a chocolate bar and I could say, yeah, eat this chocolate bar, it's lacquer. It's not going to sell to anybody. I think that for sure, people do need to get coaching and they really do need to be able to, to offer a really good delivery. For voiceover coaching specifically, I always recommend that we start with kind of the four main commercial styles, you know, being soft sell, hard sell, conversational and corporate. I don't care if you naturally have a great sounding voice, if you don't understand your voice and you don't understand how to change it at will, you will never work in this industry. Cheers. Cheers.